Hi, my name is Katherine Himes and I'm applying for the math teacher position at Richmond Hill High School. I currently teach math at Bryan County High School and have been teaching there for the past two years. Um, this would be my fifth year teaching mathematics, but I'm also certified in English language arts, 9 through 12. To give a little bit of background information about myself, I am originally from Virginia. I did some student teaching there at the College of William & Mary, and I did actually graduate with my bachelor's degree from Virginia Tech. I have a bachelor's of science in mathematics and a bachelor's of arts in English, and I continued on to do my postgraduate, um, my master's at the College of William & Mary, where I got a curriculum and instruction degree in secondary mathematics. Um, I have taught in Virginia. I did a long-term sub position as a pre-calculus and year-long geometry teacher. I then moved to Texas because I got married, applied for my license there, taught in Texas for three years. I was also a cheerleading coach. And while I was in Texas, they asked me if I would consider getting 18 additional math master's credits so that I could teach dual enrollment at the high school. And so I did that through Texas A&M Commerce. I loved going back to school and I loved the opportunity to almost complete a second master's degree. And I do hope to finish that degree at some point. And I also really enjoyed coaching. I um, not only coached cheerleading, I coached a JV and varsity team and we were working on competition, but I also coached UIL for calculator applications and computer science. And the first year that I coached computer science, we had a student go to state. So that was really cool. Um, as you can tell, I'm a little bit nerdy when it comes to math. So after I finished in Texas, we moved to Georgia and I actually interviewed with Mr. Tucker well on my way to a conference um, in Louisiana. And I really enjoyed the vibe that I got from him and from the math department there and from their attention to data and really pushing the students towards a better future. And so I chose to work at Bryan County High School um, based on that particular interview. And while I've been at Bryan County High School, I have coached um, literary so we had a student go from the literary solo um, oral presentation. She went to state last year and that was really awesome. Um, I also have um, volunteered again to do literary this year and I did start up a service club at Bryan County High School. So that was really cool. Um, I was very active in Key Club when I was in high school. And we don't have a Kiwanis in Pembroke, but we were able to still kind of create a service club in partnership with the JROTC. So we did stuff with the um, Bryan County Elementary School Color Run last year. We helped set up for prom, we helped create props, and we also headed up a booth at the bonfire um, that we had last year. This year we're doing a little bit more with prom, a little bit more with the elementary color run as well, and then we are also helping with the one after plays. Um, this year we're still planning to go to literary. We have a solid duo group, um, a solid two solid solo performances, so I think it's going to be really great. Um, I am looking at switching from Bryan County High School to Richmond Hill, and the reason being isn't that I don't love my kids and I don't love the staff that I work with because I absolutely adore the people that I work with and if I could give my kids the world I would. Um, in fact I have a couple kids that I'm doing RTI with. One student I spend um, 30 days, not 30 days, 30 minutes with her four days a week so that we can work on number sense and understanding of graphing because she is blind and is unable to kind of grasp some of the concepts just because she's not able to see, but we use geo boards and we're able to use braille. And so that's been really helpful. And then I have another student who I've come up a couple times on Saturday school and him and I've done one-to-one -one remediation on understanding of quadratics and understanding of 
even how to graph a basic linear function because he has been struggling and he is a little bit behind. Um, so if I could move heaven and earth for my kids like that, that is the type of person that I am. But I finally have hit a point where I understand that sometimes you have to start putting your family first. Um, in June of this year, this past year, I had a beautiful baby girl. Um, her name is Aria Grace, and she was the the first first child that we've had. And I I love my child so much. And she goes to daycare at the Children's Village in Richmond Hill, and I actually live off of Brisbane Road in Richmond Hill. And at this point, the 40-minute commute to work and the 40-minute commute from work to home is just getting to be a little bit taxing. Um, I'm beginning to realize that it's taking away from time that I could be spending with my daughter, and it's also causing a little bit of a conflict with how much time I'm able to spend with my kids. Because if I don't leave school by a certain point and get home to pick her up from the children's village, they charge us money every couple minutes that she's there after a certain time. And so that like really limits what I'm allowed to do and the events that I'm allowed to go to and the football games and the baseball games and the basketball games. I mean, our girls are in the Sweet 16, and I would love to be able to spend more time watching them, but I've only been able to go to one game just because I haven't, you know, I've had obligations at home. Um, I already understand what it means to be part of one Bryant, and I get that Richmond Hill and Bryan County High School, we support each other 100%. I've been to a content academy, I've been to Ed Camp, and just the environment overall, like we really are a family as a district. And even though we have one that's so far north and so far south and they're really separated from each other, it's really incredible to see how we're able to come together and work together and push for a greater option and greater opportunities for our students. Um, no matter if it's the 2,200 kids at Richmond Hill or the approximately 570 kids at Bryan County. Um, I really enjoy being a part of this district. Um, I really enjoyed being part of Paris Independent School District when I was in Texas, and I loved being a part of Williamsburg, James City County in Virginia. But there's just something special about Bryan County in Georgia. Um, I don't know. It's kind of got that we're all in this together and we 100% support each other. So even though I feel like I've had such a wonderful experience at Bryan County High School and I'm such a good fit there, I feel like I could be just as good of a fit at Richmond Hill. Um, I've taught at a larger school. When I taught in Virginia, I taught at a school of 1,300 kids. Um, back in Texas, it was about 900. So I've, I've taught at varying size schools, and I've also taught everything from math models or math of finance and algebra one all the way up through pre-cal and AP calculus. So, and I did teach dual enrollment courses when I was in Texas. I love having the opportunity to teach math, and I'd also love having the opportunity to teach English. Um, not only can I geek out about math, I can totally geek out about English. Um, sitting at lunch with Mr. Sykes and some of our English department, we do talk about the different books that we would teach in literature. Uh, if I had a chance to teach seniors, I would love to be able to teach Heart of Darkness. If I... Sorry, that was my husband. <laughs> um, if I taught ninth grade, I would love to be able to teach Great Expectations or Romeo and Juliet. I can quote Romeo and Juliet. Um, I love teaching. I absolutely love this. And I want to continue to be able to make a difference in somebody's life. If I can make a difference in a couple students and really show them that education can be so important and can open so many doors for them, whether it be career or college or life. I want to be able to do that. So I hope that I've explained myself and I've kind of shown my personality. And I just want you to know that, like, 
I really enjoy this and being given the opportunity to even interview at Richmond Hill High School would be would be an honor to be able to say that I stayed with the same district for more than two years since I did stay with Paris Independent School District of, in three years like it would be such an honor. So thank you so much for your consideration and I hope to hear from you soon.